For a while, Mohammed bin Salman enjoyed the title of reformer, expanding women's rights in Saudi Arabia. But even back then, he never abolished the strict guardianship laws. And so, even though there's been some progress, women still can't do a great deal in the kingdom without their male guardian's approval. That guardian can be your husband, your father, your brother, or even your son. Well, let's say you're a Saudi woman who wants to go to university. Well, you'll need your guardian's permission. Want to take your studies to another level, study abroad? You'll need a passport for that, and to get one, you'll need permission. Okay, so your guardian lets you study. He may even let you travel. You've got your degree, and now you want a job. But it's not that simple. Companies usually ask permission from your guardian before offering you a job. But say you're given the green light and now you're making your own money. You'll still need permission to rent your own house, to register, to vote or even open a bank account. Yes, you may be able to drive or get a license by yourself now, but you can't buy a car without permission. So what's the point? Let's assume your guardian is generous. He lets you study, travel, work, even spend your own money. And now you find the love of your life. Well, you'll need your guardian's permission to get married, of course. Got it? Congratulations. Now your father is no longer your guardian. Your husband is. From now on, you'll need his approval, which could mean going back to square one. Oh, don't really fancy doing that? Want to get divorced? Well, you've guessed it. You'll need his approval first.